everyone, this is Laura Hollingsworth. I am kicking off this channel with a portrait series that I've had in mind for a while now, and that is to render people as if they were made out of unusual materials. So today what I'm going to be doing is rendering the portrait of a woman as if she were made of the same materials as one of my camera lenses. I'm painting in GIMP and the only brush I'm using is the default round brush. My tablet is a Wacom Cintiq. Before I got started, I did a batch of warm-up sketches to try and work out how I wanted her facial features to look. I found it's really useful to do a lot of preliminary sketches. It helps me loosen up and explore different concepts that I might want to pursue. So I'm starting out with my sketch. I use a sort of variant of the Loomis method. Normally I place in both of the eyes at the same time, but I didn't do that here for some reason. Just ignore that. What I'm using right now is called the Eye Warp tool in GIMP. It's similar to the Liquify tool in Photoshop. I've been using GIMP for a decade now and I never noticed that this tool was there until like a month ago, but it has changed my life. It's great for adjusting sketches. That being said, it makes brush strokes ugly and smudge, so I tend to only use it in sketches and not later on in the painting. However, in sketches it's great because you're just gonna paint over all that anyway. Rough coloring is the most exciting part because you're making a lot of progress and it doesn't take much time at all. It's at this stage when I can tell if the painting is going to come out good or not. The more the edges and the values in the painting can stand on their own, I will lower the opacity of the outline sketch. Now I've merged down the sketch layer and I'm beginning to blend out all of the outlines. I'm sampling colors from either side of the outline and covering it up to make an edge that's more three-dimensional and based on values. To add shading to the metallic parts, I'm just using a paintbrush set to overlay mode. The colors I'm using for the silver are black and white. For the gold, the shadow is burgundy and the highlight is a yellow off-white. One thing that differentiates yellow and gold is that gold has a lot more red hues in the shadows. Here I'm adjusting the alignment of the facial features. As I said before, I don't use the eye warp or liquify tool for this. I'm using the polygon selection tool to make a selection around the facial feature and then copying and pasting it into its own layer. There's a little repainting involved around where the edges of the selection were, but it's not as much as if I were to use the eye warp or the liquify tool.
All right, so now what I'm doing is trying to bring in that iridescent effect into the eyes and the lips. For the lips, I put the color onto an overlay layer and then adjusted the opacity to make it the intensity that I wanted. Now for the fine rendering. This is probably the most boring part. It takes hours. There's very little noticeable progress, but it's what's necessary to make a realistic painting look finished. I will say that I like the final rendering stage. You're basically just scanning over the whole painting and tweaking tiny details. It's pretty brainless. You can just put on a Jordan Peterson lecture and let your art brain go on autopilot. I started rendering the eyes the same way that I normally do, but then I was like, forget that. Camera lenses are so similar to eyes already, and so I should just render them the same way. Plus, I think that it's one of the main things that will clue in viewers to this being a camera lens android. I toyed with the idea of having our eyes be silver instead of gold to look more normal, but she's gonna look weird and fantastical either way. I think the gold looks a lot more striking. All right, so there's the finished product. I have a few ideas lined up for mixing materials and portraits. I think that this one was a bit simpler than what I'm planning to do for the rest of the series because the camera lens is opaque and it has a matte finish and it's actually pretty similar to some real life sub-Saharan skin tones. I hope to work up to more complicated ones like people rendered as if they're made out of water or lightning elements like that. If you have any cool concepts that you would like to see, feel free to leave suggestions in the comments. This is my very first video. If you feel inclined to do so, please subscribe. It would be very encouraging and it would let me know that there's interest out there for more videos from me. Thanks for watching!